Okay, today we're looking at the 214 Frontera. What I want to show you is new fenders. This is uh, videos primarily for my friend Fred who supplied me these fenders. Just wanted to show you how good the bike looks with the with them on. Here's what came off. Ultraviolet rays were just not kind to these fenders. They got brittle, cracked. Where the UV rays did not shine, it looked pretty good. Underneath, they look great. So keep your bikes out of sunlight. That's what I think the problem is. Here's the rear fender. Under the seat where the sun doesn't shine, perfect. Here, not so perfect. Underneath looks good. But anyway, uh, the front fender is the Preston Petty. I put this on while I was at the uh, North Central Smog Ride. Had a bunch, a lot of help. A lot of the other smog uh, members were very willing to lend a hand when they saw me turning wrenches and taking it off. I didn't get the rear on at that time, but uh, this was a little bit more of a challenge because of the wiring. I did get it wired, but I was able to use the, the same holes that you drilled for your bike. Worked perfect on this one. Didn't drill another hole. And I wanted to avoid drilling a hole for the wiring since since the service supplied a, a hole right back here. I didn't want to drill another hole. So I ran a uh, quarter inch plastic uh, tubing through this hole that you had already drilled. I put in this uh, little arch to keep it from dropping down and getting hung up on a knob on a tire and then ran it all right in here. So the wiring is very clean out of the way and I'm really happy. It looks great. Thanks a lot for your help on that. Here's the uh, look at the ever popular Bark Busters. I did run that Enduro a couple weeks ago. Didn't do so good. My body was the big problem. And my clutch. My clutch is not, uh, well, I geared it wrong. Put the 46 tooth rear sprocket on it. Should have left the 50 on for, geez, these hills, they ran us up and down. They were killers. I ended up having to, well, you know, I'm a pretty large guy, and I couldn't, uh, the bike just wouldn't carry it itself and me up without me getting off and pushing, fanning the clutch. I'm losing clutch oil somewhere, and my I think it's the crank uh, crank seal. Even though it's brand new, there's a uh, crank crankshaft bushing that I think I got a problem with. I don't think that's sitting right. But anyway, that's what she looks like today with the new fenders on, and just wanted you to see it. But it's running real good, in general. I think I want to uh, run some of those ARMA events that you've been running. This Enduro I ran uh, two weeks ago. It's, I think they're geared for modern bikes. And they make the trails tougher than bikes in the, of this age were ever meant to conquer. Just for fun, here's my Alpina. Found some rear shocks for it at a swap meet. They're better than wore out shocks, but they're not the best, but I'll take them. Put new fork seals in it, so suspension is fixed for temporarily or for now. And uh, I think I'm going to take the muffler off. 
All the guys at the smog ride weren't running them, and the exhaust sound was great on those things. Plus, there's so much weight on that thing. But anyway... Happy Halloween. It is the season. Oh, I wanted to show you this. This is that inline fuel pet cock that I told you I found. Five bucks. Briggs and Stratton or some some uh, brand of lawnmower equipment. Anyway, stay in touch. We'll have to go riding one of these days somewhere. I'm thinking of uh, down near Wedron. I'd like to go. Maybe we can uh, schedule a day where we can get together, do a, a mini smog ride. See ya.